Mail Cleaner has uh, multiple different ways it filters out spam and viruses and you need to know how to set these up because by default there might be not enough or too much checked uh, based on what it is that you want to do for your mail cleaner. So we want to make sure we're on configuration, anti-spam, and you'll see the anti-spam modules one through six. And you can certainly change around the module order by clicking under position and filter chain. So we like to have trusted sources set up first, but I can change whatever uh, yeah, location I want that to be in whatever order I want. So the first thing you got to do is have the enable module. So you have to have that checked. And then you also want to have the module is decisive. So it can not just enable, but it can also make decisions about spam. Uh, the maximum check time, you can change this to anything you want. If, your email, if you want your email to go through a little faster, you can make it less than the default. If you want it to be better at checking for spam, then you make it longer than the default. Uh, you can also check in a maximum message size here. Now, zero bytes means a uh, spam size of any size, uh, an email of any size will get if it's anything other than zero, then it will actually go look at the size in bytes. Make sure that you check it. It's in bytes, not megabytes or kilobytes. All right, so enable all trusted path detection. You want to check that. Uh, if you have specific servers that you know are good, you can go ahead and, and put those in here. So any email from these particular locations uh, you know will be good. You can put those in. Authenticated SMTP server search string, if you have that. I, we don't use that in particular. And then you, you've got DNS lists. These are the white lists that you want to check. So if any email comes from these, then it will not get pulled as spam. All right, next we have is nice base. Again, check the two top boxes. You can change the position if you want. Maximum check time, maximum message size. Now in this particular case, we went ahead and put in a maximum message size, which is gonna be 50 megabytes. We don't wanna go anything bigger than 50 megabytes. And the reason for that is because it'll just choke, choke the uh, server unless you have it on super, super fast uh, processors. Clam spam. So this is going to be where your viruses are pulled and uh, you can of course make sure they're enabled and decisive and you can also have it change the amount of check time. We like to have the check time a little longer on this so we don't want any viruses to get through. And the message size is also listed. Pre-RBLs, this is an area that you want to be careful because uh, you might end up checking something that's already in another section. So if you have it checked twice, it might slow things down. So uh, again, we can enable it, make it decisive, change the... Uh, we like to have the uh, RBLs, the real-time block lists, and these particular ones get checked. And then the URI RBLs. That's another type of uh, block list or blacklist check. Uh, we like to have all those checked as well. And then spam C. And again, you're going to see a lot of the same blacklists here that we saw in the pre RBLs. And uh, if you check these again, then it'll just slow things down. So make sure you don't accidentally check the exact same boxes as last time. Uh, again, you can change some of these different controls that it uses to see if it is going to be spam or not. We, we lowered ours from the defaults to uh, some of these lower amounts of time to make things run a little bit faster. And we also did the maximum message size. We set that to 50 megabytes once again. Now make sure after you make any kind of change, you press the submit button. Otherwise, none of those changes will stick.